Hello friend, thank you for joining me today. I'm here to showcase the Anchor Shrew Mixer one more time and with more information. As we get into our video, if you don't mind, if you are a current Anchor Shroom owner, if you wouldn't mind making a comment about what you truly enjoy about your mixer, different recipes that you use to be super perfect with your mixer, or just any other comment that you think might be helpful to a viewer, um, if you don't mind leaving those on the video, hopefully um, someone who's watching can glean from your tip. I know that that would be appreciated. As you can see, I have three different mixers here with me today. And this one is an older model of the machine. And I will talk about this one specifically and then the others specifically in just a minute. Now, the first thing you probably want to know is these were first introduced in Sweden in 1940. That is how long these machines have been available for consumer purchase. One thing that I find interesting is that each machine is assembled by hand and each machine is hand tested before it leaves the factory for sale. Another feature that is interesting for this specific machine is that the motor and the transmission are in the base of the machine, which that is really great. That means that the machine is not going to become top heavy and you don't have to worry about it tilting over because of the weight on top. And also too, when you're needing to add ingredients to um, what you're making, you don't have anything in your way blocking you from being able to easily put items in the bowl. So that is a really nice feature, especially when you're working and you're trying to get things done in your kitchen. Another thing that is interesting about these mixers is that the transmission is belt driven. It is not gear driven. And because it is belt driven, it is able to use the power that's within the motor more efficiently because of the transmission type. Now, I'm gonna be talking about wattage in just a minute, but if you're comparing mixers for purchase and you see the wattage listed here and the wattage listed on another mixer, make sure you're also checking into the type of transmission that's in the machine. If you're gonna properly compare apples to apples, you need to make sure that you know that the mixers that you're looking at in comparison to the anchor shroom, you wanna know the wattage and the transmission type. This transmission is belt driven. Another unique feature about these mixers is the spring loaded arm. And the spring loaded arm allows for unique mixing methods that you're not gonna find in another piece of equipment. So what you can do, you can actually lock your arm into place like this and then your arm can still freely swing to do what it needs to do to be able to mix the ingredients that's in the bowl. So you can see the spring-loaded arm. This is how this works. You're gonna raise the pin, and then you put the roller, or if you wanna use the hook, you put that in there. And you can see how this is bouncing back. And then there's two, two openings here. This one is for the dough hook. But you can see, so I can now lock this into place, you can lock it wherever you want to lock it. Usually you want to start out with it closer to the bowl and then you work your way in. And then, so you can see, imagine that if I had food in here, the bowl's gonna spin and if there's food going around, this arm is free to swing. I can swing it or it can swing on its own whenever it is working. Now, the reason why you have these two components here is because these are designed to imitate a hand kneading motion, especially if you're wanting to make bread. This is one hand, this is the other hand that is moving back and forth, pushing and pulling the dough as it is mixing. So that is the beauty of this spring-loaded arm that is made into this, into this mixer. Another unique feature about all of these models of the Anchor Shroom Mixer is it has a variable speed motor. So if you think about some of the other stand mixers you've probably seen, they have a little click. You click, click, click to advance to the next speed. Well, this one, you don't have to do that if you want to advance to the next speed. All you're going to do is turn it on and then you can gradually a little bit at the top. Let 
I'm gonna take these out of here while it's running. Okay, so that's another really cool feature about this mixer. Okay, and I just showed you a little bit about the knobs. So all of these have a 12 minute timer. You can do one click to turn it on and then it's just gonna stay on until you turn it off. Or if you continue to rotate the dial, you can set it on the 12 minute timer. Then if you realize, oh my goodness, I set my timer and I don't need um, to run it for that long, you can just simply force stop it and you're not going to hurt the machine. So as you can see, I've got the three mixers that are here and you're probably thinking, what in the world does she have the older white one here for us today? Well, I wanna show you this. Actually, this was my first Anchor Shroom mixer that I owned. It is the model N24 and it is a wonderful machine. And I sold it to a friend and she loaned it to me so I can show it to you today. And I wanna show you this because you may be in the market for a used mixer. And if you are, I want to encourage you that there's nothing wrong with that, that these are still great pieces of um, equipment or machine. I'm not sure how you wanna to refer to it. Um, this particular model, the N24, was manufactured from 1995 to 2005. If you check online stores such as eBay, you'll probably see um, this, spe this specific model or models in comparison, even older models that are available for purchase. Now, of course, those are gonna be beyond the warranty period, but if you're thinking about buying those, I would just make sure that you're purchasing from a reliable seller and that also you have purchase protection just in case you were to run into any problems. Now, this particular model, as you can see, the knobs are different than the newer model knobs. These are lit, so you can see, and these also are removable so you can clean behind them. The model of this machine can reach up to 400 and 50 watts. It is a great piece of equipment. Like I said, I actually had this one for, for a little bit, or I think I told you that. If I didn't, um, I owned this for a couple of years and then I sold it and I upgraded to the one that I currently have now. Um, so you know that this machine is actually capable of running up to 130 RPMs or rounds per minute. So if you, whichever model you have in your house, you definitely want to make sure if you have kids around that, um, you know, just watch them with the bowl because you don't want them to get caught in it in any way. And I will show you, just so you can see, this at full speed. All right, so there's your bowl. I think I went past and accidentally turned on the timer. Okay, I'm going to turn this to Just in case, if you're interested, this is the model, this is the mixing bowl that came with, um, sorry, with this model. Take the bowl off just like you do the other mixers. I'm gonna put this into the drive shaft. I'll show you this. Now this mixer, the, um, the, the power cord does not come out, but you can see the bar inside of this circle right here. So what you're gonna do is you take, you take that, and this is the same design for these. You hook this into your base. Now, the, um, the warranty for these mixers, the base, the transmission and the motor, they have a seven year warranty. All the other parts have a one year standard warranty. So then you just slide this down over here and it'll just kind of drop into place. And then you're gonna put your mixer, it will fit down into that right there. And then when you turn it on, it'll spin. And so I don't have to turn the camera, I'll turn that on here so you can see it. But it's the same setup, it's just a different type bowl for the old versus the new. Okay, so now let's talk about the newer models. I know I demonstrated the spring-loaded arm 
onto um, onto this one, the black one. This is actually mine, and are the one that I own and that I use. Um, like I said, I had this one. Great piece of equipment. It's wonderful. Um, the reason why I switched, you may be wondering. The wattage in the newer models, this is the model 6230, and it is actually the model that is currently available for sale. It has a whopping 600 watts of power. I have heard people say that you cannot tell the difference between these two mixers, or the models specifically. I disagree. Um, one of the recipes that I like to make um, for my family, I make bread, and I have a video on it. It's called Lots of Dough, if you want to see it. It's I take a quadruple, I make uh, the basic dough recipe um, that's by Bread Beckers. I use that recipe all the time to make bread for my family. And the standard recipe by itself is four to four and a half cups. Well, I like to take that recipe and I like to multiply it by four. And by the time you do the halves in there, you have approximately 18 cups of flour. This machine, this wattage, it really struggled to make that much bread. It struggled to knead it. I was afraid that I was going to compromise my mixer if I put that much flour in this machine. So I always just did a triple batch and it was fine. Um, this machine can handle that amount of flour and the other ingredients without any problems whatsoever. So that might be something to consider if you're going to do huge quantities um, you may want to go ahead and get the larger wattage, but um, I don't think most people, I don't know how many people actually make that much dough in their mixer. Um, so this, honestly, this wattage for m probably 95% of use is going to be absolutely perfect. Okay, the speed on this puppy, it can get up to 180 RPMs. And I'm gonna take the roller and the scraper out of here and I will turn it on for you so you can see that. All right, you ready? Now these do not light up, I told you that. Okay, you always want to start your mixer on low and then work up to the speed that you want it to be and then turn it down, or I always turn it down before I turn mine off. Okay, this one does have the removable plug and it has the dough hook option, which I wasn't planning on showing you. This has never even been taken out of the bag. This actually belongs with the pink mixer. This isn't my mixer. I've used the dough hook. But the dough hook, it goes in just like I showed you. It'll sit down in that hole, and then you just lock the pin into here, and then your dough hook is ready to go. Your um, mixer is also going to come with a scraper, which this is nice because it fits nicely into the bowl as far as scraping and getting stuff, getting your ingredients, your dough or whatever it is, out. This is perfect. That's what that is. And then two, now this one, this older model, um, these do not come standard with the basic set, with the basic mixer. So you may or may not see these available with the mixer if you're looking at the used mixers. Now the newer mixer, mixer they do come standard with the plastic bowl. The plastic bowl holds 3.7 quarts or 18 egg whites. It is made from Triton plastic, so you can put boiling liquid in here and it's gonna withstand that heat, no problems. You have two different options for the, um, for the beaters. You have these and then you also have balloon whisk and all you do is you pop these out here like this. So then, then you pull those out and then you attach your balloon whisk. Just want to get it lined up so that'll pop in there just right. You'll hear it click. Sorry if that was above the camera. And then you just pop that down onto that drive shaft and then you can turn it on and it'll do its thing. That's cool. <laughs> 
husband told me that I better not run all three mixers at one time. He said I probably trip a breaker. I said, well, you know, it is a lot of wattage to have all three going at one time. 62, 30, and it will come with these attachments, the dough hook, the balloon whisk, um, these beaters, the dough hook and the scraper, and I believe that's all. It does, you do have a bowl cover, which this is really nice because it allows you to put that cover on there and then you can let, uh, if you need to let things sit, then you don't have to worry, um, you know, about anything getting inside your bowl that you don't want in there. So ways that you can purchase your anchor shroom. Of course, you can go on the famous Amazon and you can find it on there, but I strongly encourage you to shop from small businesses, shop small, shop local if you can. Um, I recommend Bread Beckers. That's where I purchased this. Also, too, something that you may want to know is about the open box feature that is available, and it is only available through Bread Beckers. Um, what the open box, what that means, open box is clearly it's been a it's a mixer box that has been opened before. Um, it has been returned for whatever reason and it has been inspected. And then they actually list, if you go on their website, they'll say we have a white mixer available it had whatever if it was anything was wrong with it it was replaced or inspected or maybe it was just returned because the customer changed their mind for whatever reason it's available it's listed and then it comes with the warranty just as it would if it were new and you can get that for a reduced price so that was one reason why i purchased this because it was available at a discounted price so i had this one i knew i liked it and I knew this one had more power. And so when I saw the open box available, I jumped at it, bought it immediately, and then I turned around and sold this one to put toward um, the price of my new mixer. So open box units, like I said, they're available on the Breadbacker's website. They, but, but they are not always available. You have to keep checking because they're only gonna be available when there's a return and then they're able to turn around and resell it. So. Um, if you go and look today and there's not one on there, don't lose heart. I would just check back in a couple of days or a week and just keep checking until um, you see one that's available. The color that you want may not be available, so you might want to be a little bit open-minded and be willing to buy a color that may not have been your top pick. Right now though, if you are going to buy new, um, the current colors that are available on the Anchor Shroom website are, there are 11 different colors. One of them is bright orange it's really pretty there's some blues i believe there's some greens i've looked through them cream colors really really pretty colors the pink is not available but this pink is so pretty and i had it for a few days that i wanted you to be able to see it and if you're lucky you might be able to snag one um that's available for for purchase um used although the chances of that happening are very slim um one thing that I did forget to show you, and I apologize, I'm gonna put this back into the film very quickly, is um, another feature that's available or that is that comes with all the anchor shrooms is the side component. Now you see, this is the knob, this is on each side, and they all have this knob. This is the knob where you lock in the, the arm where you need it to stay, and I've showed you that. Now then on the other side of the mixer, there is a port here, and they all have it, where you can, if you have attachments, and I have a video of the flake mill, I had to think for a minute. So what you're gonna do is you, this actually also acts as a leg. So now the flake mill actually inserts here, but you can buy other attachments that pop in here so what you do is you let it sit on its side put the attachment in here and then you turn it on so i wanted you to see that 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 is a feature that's also available i don't have any attachments that i'm going to showcase for you today those will be in videos to come but just so you can see that in case you are wondering about it um so yes, good luck with your mixer. If you choose to buy one, good luck with the colors. I hope you can get what you're wanting. Um, like I said, if you use these mixers and you like this mixer, please comment what you like about it so that way other viewers can see it. Also too, if this video was helpful to you, if you could please give me a like 
and a subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. I look forward to showing you more videos in the future with other Anchor Shroom attachments. Um, hopefully that'll be coming up soon. We'll see you next time. Thanks.